Although the Oregon Trail would bring a steady stream of settlers into the Willamette Valley, it was the Applegate Trail that was largely responsible for helping to establish pioneer settlements throughout the southern portion of the Oregon Territory. Also known as the Southern Route, this route was first established by brothers Jesse and Lindsay Applegate. The Applegates, along with brother Charles, had come west with their families over the Oregon Trail in 1843. Jesse and Lindsay each lost a child to drowning as they made their way down the treacherous Columbia River and both vowed that they would find an easier and safer passage to the Willamette Valley. In 1846, the men set out to construct a new route and persuaded 150 families to leave the Oregon Trail at Fort Hall, Idaho, and try this new passage. The emigrants would face many challenges along the newly established Applegate Trail. However, one of the greatest hardships came when they reached the narrow gorge of Canyon Creek, a treacherous stretch of trail between modern-day Azalea and Canyonville. Steep canyon walls forced wagons to follow the creek bed, strewn with logs, boulders, and choked with brush. Trailblazer Levi Scott referred to it as the worst ten miles for a road I ever saw. It would take the immigrants two to three weeks to reach the other end of the canyon, many forced to abandon their wagons and worldly possessions along the way, some exiting the gorge with only the clothes on their back. It was late November by the time many of the settlers reached the Umpqua Valley, so rather than continue on to the Willamette, they elected to pass the winter season locally. Some of the emigrants would move northward the following spring, while others chose to put down roots in the abundant valleys of the Umpqua. Levi Scott would return to Fort Hall the following year to lead additional emigrants over the much-improved trail. Scott would go on to claim a homestead within Douglas County in 1848, an area now known as Scotts Valley. He also founded the town of Scottsburg along the Umpqua River two years later. More immigrants would follow the Applegate Trail to Oregon. However, in 1848, with the discovery of gold in neighboring California, the passage would become even more popular with those heading south looking to strike it rich. Today, tourists can follow the route of the Applegate Trail from the comfort of their cars. Interstate 5 replaces the old pathway in many places, and in a matter of minutes, drivers can explore portions of the trail that took pioneers weeks, even months, to travel. Main Street in Roseburg's town center was once part of the Applegate route, and a mural located there depicts highlights of the trail. The home of Charles Applegate, brother of Jesse and Lindsay, was built in 1852, and still stands today near the city of Yonkala in northern Douglas County. There are also a number of historic markers and informational kiosks located throughout the land of Umpqua, featuring interesting facts surrounding the Applegate Trail. Check with your visitor center for more information before you set out to retrace this famous pioneer road. You'll find a number of charming restaurants and shops along the way, so take your time and enjoy a look into the land of Umpqua's fascinating past.